In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad to iTunes on your computer. So the first thing you need to do is just go and open up an internet browser on your computer. You can then search for iTunes download and press enter and click on this top website here. Now we can scroll down to the download link and click on get it from Microsoft. Now this is for a Windows computer. If you have a Mac, then you can go and download it for Mac. So from this page, I'm just going to click on the download button. You can then click on your downloads folder in the top right hand side and go and open up the iTunes installer. You can then press install and give that a few seconds while it installs this to your computer. Now once it's finished installing we can go and agree to the terms and conditions and from the welcome page click on no thanks. So now we're ready to connect our iPad to our computer. So all you'll need for this is a cable that runs from your computer to your iPad. Now the cable you need will depend on your model of laptop and iPad. For me it's a simple USB-C cable and I can plug one end of this into my iPad and the other end needs to plug directly into your laptop. Now, once it's plugged in, we can just go and unlock our iPad home screen. And once you've unlocked your iPad with your passcode, you may get a pop-up on both your computer and your iPad. So if you see a message on your iPad, just make sure to trust and allow any of these notifications. If you see a notification on your computer, also make sure to press continue. So you can see on my computer, in order to allow access, I need to respond on my iPad. So just make sure to enter your passcode and to trust any of the pop pops that appear. After about 60 seconds, it should pop up on the screen with a message that says welcome to your new iPad. Now you can just go through the steps by pressing continue and it's going to sync your iPad to your computer. Now if your iPad's not being detected on your computer, this is likely due to an issue with the cable. So what I'd recommend doing is just disconnecting the cable from the laptop and you can try rotating the cable in a 180 degree direction and you can try plugging it in using the other side. You can also do the same thing on your iPad as well. Just go and unplug the cable and try rotating it. So it's really as simple as that guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.